Nuke 14.0 introduces a completely new 3D system to Nuke, which has been re-architected from the ground up with the goal of providing greater performance at scale, while still maintaining the ease of use and familiarity artists currently enjoy. We're not trying to turn Nuke into another DCC, as Nuke's suite of 3D tools are intentionally simplified. Our aim is for artists coming to this new system to feel at home, to benefit from a modernized 3D system, and to provide a base from which we can build new and exciting workflows with you. With that in mind, we chose to base the new 3D system architecture on USD. There were many reasons we opted for a USD-based system, but at the core of it was that this allowed us to develop a more performance system targeted at the needs of Nuke and Nuke artists. The most common 3D workflow in Nuke is importing 3D data for use in any number of workflows like matte painting, projection, relighting, and by utilizing USD, we can reduce the need for complex translation layers when importing 3D scene data, and also provide near zero costs for doing simple manipulations of imported scene objects. This essentially means we can make core workflows like importing a 3D model and moving it around much faster. For pipelines, we have made sure that we are keeping Nuke as flexible as always and allowing you to work with the USD version supported by default in Nuke or by working with any USD version you want, including custom ones. And for pipelines not intending to work with USD, then you'll have everything you need from Nuke right out the box and don't have to worry about any of this. It will be the same experience you've always had from a pipeline standpoint. So how does this new system differ from the existing one apart from greater performance? Nuke's original 3D system was designed for small-scale workflows in a fixed or flattened structure and was never intended for how artists have pushed and expanded what's possible in Nuke. As there was no structure, the only way to uniquely identify objects was by position, which is fragile as it can easily change, or by naming the node which created it, which doesn't distinguish between multiple objects. This means that Nuke was good at handling workflows where there are lots of small objects that are combined to make a scene, but not good at handling imported scenes, as there is no easy way to identify objects in the scene that a node should operate on. The new system operates with a modern scene graph centric processing engine. This means that for the first time there will be a proper scene graph in Nuke and every object in the scene will have its own unique ID. By introducing a proper scene graph based workflow, artists can have more control over the 3D scenes they work with have the ability to more easily share assets between DCCs and work at even larger scale. Modifier nodes like Transform Geo, which is GeoTransform in the new system, will have a new mask knob that allow you to explicitly state which parts of your scene graph you want that node to affect, and creation nodes like Card or GeoCard in the new system will have a path knob so you can specify where you want that object to live in the scene graph. These new knobs are also expression-based, this is so that by default, if you're used to just throwing down nodes and don't want to have to think about naming a new piece of geometry or specifying what you want a node to affect, the default expression behavior will set that for you, so you can work without having to think about this. But for artists who want to build out complex selections or naming conventions, the expression language and token system will enable you to have even greater control. Nuke 14.0 is the first step for this new 3D system and focuses on getting the core architecture in place with as much workflow parity as possible to the classic system. However, as we cannot introduce all the workflows and nodes you're used to from the classic system into the new one in one go, we have opted to release the new 3D system as a beta feature in Nuke 14.0. This is because we want Nuke Artist to be an integral part of shaping the new 3D system across the 14 series and to develop this new system with you. Now to ensure artists don't lose access to any of the workflows they depend on, we will also be releasing the new 3D system and the classic 3D system in parallel with each other. This means that you will have access to all the existing nodes and workflows you are used to, but will also be able to create the new nodes for the new 3D system and work with them. The nodes from these systems will not be able to connect or interact with each other as we will be keeping the two systems separate so that the classic 3D system can be deprecated at some point in the future. This is just the start of what we hope will be an amazing step up for artists working in Nuke's 3D environment and we are excited to keep building and developing new workflows, nodes and tools for you to take advantage of.